3. Overarching Instructions To carry out the Federal Indian Boarding School Initiative and consistent with the Secretarial Memorandum, the Assistant Secretary, Indian Affairs instructed those working on the report to collect relevant data and consult. The proposed scope of work and nature of the investigation include the collection of relevant information and consultations with Indian tribes, Alaska Native villages, Alaska Native corporations, and the Native Hawaiian community. Assistant Secretary Newland led departmental action to survey historical records in federal repositories, including the Department of the Interior Library and the American Indian Records Repository at the Bureau of Trust Funds Administration, an agency within the department as described further below. The objective of this investigation is to identify the Indian boarding schools that were a part of the federal Indian boarding school system. While the investigation concentrates on records that give insight into residential facilities and plans, including enrollment records and vital statistics, correspondence, maps, photographs, and administrative reports. It gives particular emphasis to records relating to cemeteries or potential burial sites associated with a particular residential facility, which may later be used to assist in locating unidentified remains of American Indian, Alaska Native, and Native Hawaiian children. The comprehensive record assessment is intended to assist in later identifying the number of children that attended each federal Indian boarding school and, where possible, their names and tribal identities, and provide a basis for planning future site work. The department's collection of views of Indian tribes, Alaska Native villages, Alaska Native corporations, and the Native Hawaiian community in consultations conducted as part of the investigation are included in Appendix D. Following the initial stages of the investigation, the department will reassess the needs and priorities of the investigation for completion, accounting for, in part, 1. The availability of historical records in federal repositories, authorities, and resources of various agencies in the department to perform required work, and 2. Recommendations of Indian tribes, Alaska Native villages, Alaska Native corporations, and the Native Hawaiian community, and the federal and non-federal partners. Involve Indian tribes and other department bureaus and offices. Tribal participation during the first stages of the Federal Indian Boarding School Initiative included obtaining oral and written comments from Indian tribes, Alaska Native villages, Alaska Native corporations, and the Native Hawaiian community during formal consultation sessions. The views collected in consultations conducted as part of the investigation are included in Appendix D. Within the department, the following bureaus and offices provided support for the Federal Indian Boarding School Initiative, Bureau of Indian Affairs, BIA, Bureau of Indian Education, BIE, Bureau of Land Management, BLM, BTFA, Department of Interior Library, National Park Service, NPS, Office of the Assistant Secretary, Land and Minerals Management, Office of Native Hawaiian Relations, Secretary's Immediate Office, Office of the Assistant Secretary, Policy, Management, and Budget, Office of the Solicitor, and the U.S. Geological Survey. Address Tribal Concerns Throughout the Federal Indian Boarding School Initiative, the Department engaged and consulted with Indian tribes, Alaska Native villages, Alaska Native Corporations, and the Native Hawaiian community to incorporate their concerns in the investigation, including, but not limited to, 1. The potential dissemination of sensitive information. 2. Future protection of burial sites. 3. The potential repatriation or disinterment of remains of children under applicable federal law, including NAGPRA and in coordination with other federal agencies as relevant. Handle sensitive information with great care. Moving into the next stages of the Federal Indian Boarding School Initiative, including future site work, the department will protect sensitive information obtained from the investigation, including, but not limited to, identities of Federal Indian Boarding School attendees, 
including names and tribal identities and locations of marked and unmarked burial sites to the extent allowable by applicable law. If the department is able to disseminate sensitive information to Indian tribes, Alaska Native villages, and the Native Hawaiian community, or to federal agencies responsible for repatriation or disinterment of remains of Indian children, then it shall address cultural concerns of Indian tribes, Alaska Native villages, and the Native Hawaiian community and ensure marked and unmarked burial sites are secure. Engage relevant federal agencies. As the department is not the only federal agency positioned to examine the federal Indian boarding school system and its effects on American Indians, Alaska Natives, and Native Hawaiians, the department is engaging and supporting sister federal agencies with control of any records that may relate to the federal Indian boarding school system including records from the Department of Defense as a successor agency to the War Department and the Department of Health and Human Services.